What's going on everybody? Today we brought back Isaac aka Sneaker Invest for part 2 of do's and don'ts of sneaker reselling. It is without a doubt the sneaker resale market has no plans of slowing down and everyone wants to know the secret ins and outs. In today's video, Sneaker Invest provides his top 3 sneakers to invest in right now and what comes with the territory of holding thousands in inventory at a time. This is one not to be missed, let's get right into it. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Today we are going to be doing a part two of sneaker reselling do's and don'ts. We brought back the man himself, Sneaker Invest. How have you been? I'm good, man. How have you been? Great, man. First video went crazy. A lot of good feedback. Uh, a lot of interesting comments. Did you read them? Yeah, I did. All right, well, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll get into those. Let's get into the first question. All right, Isaac, for those who do not know what type of reselling you do, can you uh, go over it again? Yeah, so I basically do a method called holds, which is holding a shoe like this, for example, for three to six months. And I try and look for the long-term value. And once a shoe reaches its peak with long-term value, then I try and sell it off in bulk. So mm -hmm. that's how I make majority of my profit reselling. And it's really interesting. A lot of people didn't know that you actually pay resale for your sneakers. You're, you're not getting up for retail. You know exactly. What I mean? Yeah. So a lot of people think that I get them for retail bots. I'm hurting the community, but hey, we got to clear this up. We got to clear this <laughs> up in the comments. They were like, this guy is lying. He's the guy that is using the bots but you're actually just trying to find the best prices on Facebook. Groups. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm basically honestly helping resellers and people who want to get it for retail. I'm not using bots. I'm not using bots. I'm paying resell, <laughs> helping resellers make money and then right, making you gotta money. you got to clear that. I know a lot of people in the comments were like, hey, this guy is lying. He, hey, he is swearing on the oath right here. All right. So anyways, how many sneakers would you say you are holding right now? With that being said, I think right now over the span of two years, I've accumulated around a thousand to fifteen hundred pairs of You're shoes. You're holding a thousand to fifteen hundred right now. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> Okay. Okay. So with that being said, in your method of holding sneakers, what are the top three sneakers you would say are best to hold right now? So right now, I'm going to go with Smoke Gray Ones in grade school. These are interesting. These a lot are. of people kind of compare them with like the unions a little bit. I don't yeah. you know. Yeah. Okay. So grade school in particular. Yeah. I think those are going to pop off. I personally have 200 pairs. So, you okay. know, How I think. How much you getting for? I paid around 250 average per pair wow. in grade school. I don't have any men's sizes, so five and a half to seven okay. is perfect. If you want to get men's size to hold, you want to do That's... size 10 to 13. Bigger sizes are doing a lot better okay, than okay. the smaller sizes. So you're, you're going for the bay sizes. Yeah. Bay sizes. Uh, and then what could these potentially be, you think? I think those are easily going to hit 400 or more. Okay, so, okay. That's but I'm holding them for a long time. I'm trying to hold them for over six months probably over eight months okay got it got it all yeah. right so the smoke grays what would the second sneaker be that you recommend i think the second one would be right here the mocha ones i think the mocha ones need to settle of course right now they're a bit too high they go for like 350 it's that whole travis scott thing yeah they were hyped before they even came out exactly but yeah. these are gonna settle guys you you have to realize not all retailers have released their pairs. UK, Europe, they haven't released their pairs. Once they release them, these should go down to about 280. So they're 350 right now. You think they'll go to 280 once retailers get their pairs in, basically. Yeah, once they start releasing their pairs online. All right, man. Uh, the Mocha ones right here. You guys know how I feel about these. Garbage, man. Just garbage, man. All right, so for the third sneaker, let's talk about these Royal Toes right here. In the last video, they're definitely going to go up at, by at least $100. You definitely recommended them. How much are they going for right now? Was your prediction right? Yeah, so right now, size 5.5 to size 7Y is going for about $320 mm. on StockX. In the last video, I basically told the audience to buy them at $230. Mm. How does that feel? You basically made the right prediction when it came to the Royal Toes, right? It's just intuitive. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make sure you understand it. You understand the grade school aspect of it. Yeah. The color schemes. I thought that was big. You were saying you separate your like personal feelings with the sneaker. Like exactly, for myself, yeah. I think a lot of people only want to invest in sneakers that they potentially could wear. You know yeah, what I mean? They're yeah. not trying to get like size five Y sneakers. And exactly, like, yeah. Know. You were talking earlier about the dunks. So the dunks are a sneaker you think definitely can have that potential of going up due to how easy they are to wear, right? Yeah, exactly. I think the dunk lows are definitely going to be having a trend like the Jordan ones. They're just so easy to wear. Yeah. 
the hype is catching on. The it's, TikTokers, it's, yeah, just it's crazy. Exactly. Yeah. It's not just the OG dunk guys wearing them. Now it's mm-hmm. like 14 year old girls. Yeah. On I think a lot of people, when they think reselling, their first like intuition to think about is like crazy thousand dollar SBs and all that. They think the money's there, but yeah. you're saying you're going for like the little fish basically, but a lot of little fish, you know? Exactly, so, yeah. yeah. All right, Isaac, so with that all being said, man, what is like the number one sneaker reselling mistake someone can make right now? I think being unkind to people who are new in the business is a really big mistake you can make. Oh. This whole business re- revolves around connections mm. and I've seen a ton of people lose out on great connections just because they see you know, a newcomer in reselling, they're not very kind to them. And then six months later, that newcomer is, is popping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. poppin', and, <laughs> <Is> then, <you. laughs> and then, and then, um, they eventually see that the newcomer has like a bunch of shoes they have. Then they'll want to, yeah, yeah. Buy, I see but that, then man. it doesn't work. Yeah. It's so. crazy. Like definitely you don't want to burn those bridges. You want to keep them alive and everything. You were saying like, it's based off relationships. you got to talk to so many people. Cause it's not like you're like trying to uh, just get your sneakers from like retailers through bots. You still gotta communicate with a bunch of people, you know? So exactly, yeah. That's pretty big. Okay, so basically be kind to of people and new newcomers. You know, so with that being said, we just kind of went over, you know, the number one mistake, which is not being kind to others, uh, burning bridges. What is the number one advice you would have for a new reseller? So I think the number one piece of advice is when you start reselling, if you're young, you're gonna start to see a lot of money coming in. I mean, a couple of thousand for a young like reseller. The money, the money gonna change you. There, it's gonna change <laughs> you. And so a lot of people, a lot of young kids, they're gonna start to spend that on very dumb purchases. The number one thing I could say is reinvest it. Okay. That's don't cool. spend any of it on random clothes you don't need. Not everybody's uh, Benjamin kicks out there, you know? Yeah. I think he like sets up that image and they're like, yeah, let me flip some kicks, go get some ice. It's so. not, that's not how it is. That's not how it is. Okay. Not at all. Got it. Why don't you do bots? Uh, well, I'm actually going to start doing bots pretty okay, soon. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. Hey, so hey, the that, money all, changing them. Money's <laughs> going to develop his own bot. Nah. So no, a lot of people, they hate on the idea, but you know, I figured either way they're going to hate. So I might as well just start doing bots. <laughs> if they hate, let them hate, watch the money pile up. So you're going to uh, build your own bot, develop it, or you're going to buy one? Well, no. So I just bought Some my first are- one uh, for seven. No, it goes for 7000 but I paid 5600 They actually go up in value as well. I heard. So people, like, and I heard they only like give them to particular people. Like they're not, you know. Yeah, you know, it's really hard to get them. And so oftentimes when they do really well on a release, they start going up in value. Crazy. Yeah, so you, you can pay off? you can you can hold bots as well even if you don't use them. Damn man, I thought you were the homegrown like Facebook, you know. Got, <laughs> now you're moving to the dark side. <laughs> Money. Anyways, uh, so fifty six hundred for a bot, that's insane. But yeah, yeah. I heard I heard they they're there's really some for twenty five thousand as well. I think there's one called Dragon Bot. It goes for twenty five thousand. What does that get you? Like thirty pairs of Dior's? Or I something? think a few people hit hundreds of pairs of uh, mochas insane. with that. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Some of you guys. Be doing the bots on the Richie Lee collection. I don't even know how to stop you effing up all my inventory. Like basically they were using these bots that take someone else's order. So by the time we were done fulfilling orders, we were short product. Oh. It was insane. Like I don't mind people using bots on our clothing, but when you start giving us shortages on our clothing, I was like, bro, we got to do something about this. And it just was a headache to deal with. I don't know. We're looking into it. It's insane, but all right. Uh, sneaker investment. Any last words? I know you're working on some things right now. Got the book and everything. Talk about that. Yeah. So I basically had a book out for about a year and a half. Uh, so mean? basically the methods in my book, how to make a fortune selling sneakers. I basically made those methods within like a four year, five year period. And they have made me over $400,000 in profit. But four hundred thousand. Remember, remember, that's oh, that's not in a year. Yeah, for sure, for sure. That's, that's still super damn solid. Exactly, and that's so a six figure career right and there. That's, right here. that's for uh, quick flips. That's what I did initially to make money for holds. Quick mm. flips. That's what you want to do. If you don't have enough money for holds, uh-huh. you do quick flips. I think that's like more the what people like doing. They don't want to like. Yeah. They don't want to go get the storage and shit. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, the quick flips. Yeah. So that's what really built up my capital to the point where I can hold. A thousand to fifteen hundred oh, pairs of shoes. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So it's like the introduction to like sneaker reselling. And then if you have the patience and everything, then you could uh, graduate to not graduate, but move on to sneaker holds. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Make sure you guys check out his book. Uh, we'll leave a link in the description box below. He also has a YouTube channel, Sneaker Invest, with uh, a lot of great information on it as well. Check out his IG. Um, any last words? 
No, I just want to say uh, thanks again for having me for on sure. this, on this channel. Yeah. It, was, it was a great, great video. I hope you guys can also hold the shoes that I told you guys about and make some money. Mm -hmm. All right, wait till these go to 280, you said. 280. 280, 250. 250. 250. All right, guys. Um, thank you guys for checking out this video. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. He cleared it up. He does not use bots, but he's going to use bots. You'll see me with them soon. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Peace. <laughs>